Hi and welcome to 3 Sounds, I'm Marcel and it is time for a quick tutorial. Libby and I, we decided why not just creating these smaller videos because we get more and more questions about how we editing our sounds while traveling the world. And in this quick tutorial, I would love to show you how I create mono files to stereo, stereo back to mono and also I give you an explanation, the reason why I do it. So now let's go right into it. Now I'm editing almost all my recordings in Adobe Audition and the way I do it, how I start is if I have several files, I mostly start in a multi-track session. Um, you just click here on file, new, and then you open a multi-track session. You can give them a name for this new sound library that I'm working on. This is the underwater sound library. So I'm gonna rename or I'm gonna name my session underwater sound library 192 to 32 bit that's how I record it and now let's just open this one and here we have our multi-track session. I, I show you two ways how I recreate a stereo file with these underwater recordings so let's just bring in this mono recording you can just drag and drop from your desktop or if you have another file system I love it to do it that way here we go so now let's listen what we have here it's very quiet if you want to bring up this, the, the volume, I just do double click and then I just raise here a little bit the volume, the gain. And then we have it a little louder, then I go back. I switch between nine and zero. It's between multi-track and the single session. Now let's listen to this. It's very calming, but it's mono, right? Now I show you how I can recreate this file into a stereo file. Another way to raise the volume or the gain is when you click the yellow line and you bring this up. Here we go. Now you hear this, this crackle, right? Cool, here we go. To create a stereo file in the multi-track session, all what you need to do is you copy the file that you have into the second track. Now, when you have it in the second track, what you do is you change the stereo balance from track one all the way to the left and track two all the way to the right. Now listen to this. When you move the second channel just a tiny bit to the right. That's how we create the stereo effect. It's also called the Haas effect, but don't do it too much. Because if you do it, then you get an artificial sound. Well, let's see here. Let's go here. This is great for ASMR. So if you create ASMR sounds or you want to have this crackle on both sides to make it sound way more rich, then this is the way to go. So this is one way. And now I have two files, so how am I gonna export this, right? So you bounce it to a new track. So you select both tracks, you go into the multi-track, bounce new track, select selected clips only, and then see what happens. And now you have here in the other track your stereo file. This is one way. But now I want to show you how you can actually recreate this back to a mono file. Super simple. When you have favorites, you click on it and there's convert to mono. This is all you need to do. For me, you see there's an M. This is a short code. You can always recreate to anything little short codes. If, if, if you work with hundreds of files, it saves you so much time. I want to just show you how easy that is. So convert to mono. Here you have a mono file. This is great if you record door sounds or anything that has to be a direct sound, but like an underwater sound having this in a nice stereo. This is, this is really cool. So now we are here in the, in the single session, not multi-track, I just stay right here. Now I'm converting it back to stereo by clicking S. But what's happened is the stereo effect is gone because it is recreated to a mono file. Now, how can I do this sound stereo? if I don't want to use this Haas effect. It's also very simple, there's a free plugin and I want to show you this. 
All my plugins, there are here VST, VST3, AU, Audition can read everything. And here we have the infected mushroom and the wider plugin. So this is a free plugin that you can find on the internet. And you see what is, it is, it is very straightforward and very easy. All what you need to do is changing the balance here. You hear that? And now if you go up to 200%, you have this artificial sounding noise, so we don't want this. So we just go back to the desired place. You never know, maybe you want it 200. It all depends on what you want to do later with the file. Now let's listen to this. Just apply it. Now it's pumped this just here a little bit. Up, just to give you an example how it sounds like. Ooh. Now, that's it. That's how you create mono to stereo, stereo to mono. I'm gonna explain you why I do this. Why, why would I create a mono file that is a door sound to stereo? Because I have to do it because I use Bandcamp to upload my sound libraries. And Bandcamp only allows stereo files. So everything that I wanna upload to Bandcamp has to be in stereo, but it does not have to have this way that you recreate the left and the right channel. If it's a door sound or if it's just um, an underwater sound that you don't want to widen, you can just create this plank stereo file that is still sound mono and then upload to Bandcamp. It's very important. And then the sound designer or the person who's downloading the sounds just maybe use it the left channel or the right channel or just converts it back to a mono file if they needed mono. Or can do whatever they want. So this is very important for me and I hope you enjoy watching this little tutorial. And the next one that we're gonna do is about how I'm writing my metadata, noise cancellation, and how I'm getting rid of unwanted sound. If you have any more questions or advice, or you wanna know more about sound editing and you have an idea already and I haven't even thought about it, just leave me a comment down below or write me an email to hello at freediosounds.com. You can also reach me on Instagram, on Facebook, all the handles are 3 Sounds. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in our next video.